Hello again and welcome to the electrical section of this build. Now at the beginning I wanted to change the ECU to a modern one and completely rewire the car. But since I'm not sponsored by anyone and have blown the budget a couple times over, I had to go back to the sad old wiring. The harness had been fully dismantled and inspected wire by wire for any irregularities and damaged wiring, which surprisingly there were many issues since the wiring had been fettled with by previous owners. Upon inspection, the circuit had a burnt capacitor. This was a simple fix by just replacing it with a matching capacitor. Honestly speaking, 1980s Audis and BMWs had similarly complicated wiring harnesses, but for the most part they worked and were easy to diagnose. However, 1980s Italian electrics are somewhat a bit different. Somehow and very creatively, the wiring is set up to an ignition ECU, a main harness ECU and an instrument cluster ECU which half of the wiring is linked to a logic gate fuse box, which in turn is signaling two types of relays. In other words, the wiring is set up similarly to the Enigma code. Next was a tedious issue I faced where I could not find the original relays, which apparently costed around a very laughable 180 euro each as new. So this led me to modify all the relays to the cheapest and most common type found on the market. My main concern was that the relays found on this car were a type A fused double output relay, which are hard to find. So I got me new bases, brand new double output type B relays and altered the wiring to fit a different relay and have an independent external fuse attached. And that simplified the relay issue. So now at a total of 19 euro for the relays, 15 euro for the waterproof wired fuses and 5 euro bases for the relays, it's now compatible with the cheapest and most common relays found on the market. Also, now the car has just one type of relay in all the harness. Now since the Type A and Type B relays are not interchangeable, because of the way the coil is positioned, the terminals 30 and 86 were swapped to accommodate the new relay, and the positive terminal was fused. Also most of the old weird wiring was properly rewired and repositioned. The old wiring had some positive and negative wiring which were marked in the same black color, so the positive wires were altered to red wires and rerouted to the back of the car.
since most of the wiring was rerouted and the battery moved to the back, connection points have been placed at the front for emergency access, in case required. This wiring came with a lot of issues, so most of the engine bay harness has been rewired. Wires attached to sensors have been grouped in a specific manner and relocated in areas where it would be possible for access, without having to dismantle half the engine in order to reach them. Beside the engine, here's the cluster which has been dismantled and thoroughly inspected due to the bad state of the copper tracks. Also the dials constantly flickered due to issues in the sensor wiring loom and the cluster's copper tracks, so each item was addressed accordingly. 